The first and most important truly was that I was in a very loving, caring environment. We grew up knowing it's really important to do what you say you'll do and to follow through. Diane Seaman Logier learned the value of integrity and hard work from her parents. Her teachers inspired her to think unlimited. It was teachers who helped me realize that how my uh, brain worked, what I liked, what I was capable of, and teachers really were the people who in my life told me I could do whatever I wanted to do. And I knew from very, very early on that I was going to get as much education as I could. And she has. Diane was the first in her family of five to go to college. Law school followed, and she has since earned her MBA. I have stopped going to college now, however, so I've been off that for about 15 years. Diane started her career as Associate General Counsel for Health One Corporation in Minneapolis. A mutual friend introduced her to her now husband, Alan Logier, which brought her to Omaha in the early 90s. Omaha was a very good fit for me. Diana has served as corporate counsel for family-owned Logier Corporation for 25 years now. Working with people and mentoring people and, and again, helping them grow has been really important to me and really valuable. I'm still learning so much. I'd say, in fact, that in going into this family-owned, small manufacturing company, I've learned way more than I've taught or than I've given. It's been 25 years now of learning from hundreds of different people and different perspectives. In addition to her legal work, Diane is vice chair of the 32-year-old Logier Foundation. It's always focused on underserved populations and education and health. We do that because we care about the people and trying to help improve their lives, help them improve their own lives, is what's so critical to us. A key supporter of Omaha Public Schools, the foundation opened its own free private school in 2015, Nelson Mandela Elementary, which serves high poverty scholars in North Omaha. Like Mandela, Diane believes education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. What we find at Nelson Mandela is that there are a lot of kids who come from settings where there's little hope that their life can be different. Part of what I feel like we do at Nelson Mandela is to try to help those kids find that hope. That's been an amazing opportunity and a really fun thing to be able to be, be involved with, as well as a really rewarding thing to see. In addition to being a staunch champion of education, Diane is an active advocate for women and girls. She was involved in launching what's now the Domestic Violence Council, and before that, Women's Fund of Omaha. Totally out of the blue, a dear friend of mine was hired to start the Women's Fund of Omaha. Mary Hengbron, who is also someone who's had a huge impact on my life. It was an amazing opportunity for me. It was really the perfect place for me to focus from an advocacy, philanthropy kind of perspective. Diane served on the College of St. Mary board during a pivotal time in school history, a period that saw the hiring of now president and fellow Business Hall of Fame honoree, Dr. Mary Ann Stevens. One of the school's residence halls bears Diane's name. Solely because my dear friend and then and now president of the college, Marianne Stevens, pleaded with me to agree to do that. Marianne, being incredibly uh, bright and convincing, uh, talked with me about how she thought it would be meaningful for a women's college to have the name of a living woman in particular on a building. And so we acquiesced to that. Diane says she thinks of herself as a collaborative leader, a woman inspired by her own humble upbringing to look out for others. I grew up in a fairly poor family. 
that gave me a perspective that was, I think, valuable and, and important. My love in my heart really is in education. Diane Seaman Logier, for your community changing advocacy and how it's elevating the lives of others. Welcome to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame.